Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. Okay, so don't forget to like to comment. If you don't want to leave a comment, you can leave a thumbs up, a heart, anything helps in regards to the algorithm. I can't make this up. It's basically being reported that Jordan Woods is hanging out with Kylie. This is the biggest thing. For the smaller channels, the bloggers, the other channels that's not TMZ, not entertainment, E! News, we see what's really going on. And the weird part about it is, I'm wondering if they see it too. We're not journalists, but we see and we give our opinion on these people's real lives. We see the shenanigans. We see the media attention. We see the copying going on. We see when they're shading someone. We see when they're dragging someone. Let's get to some of the clips. Let me bring them up because... It's funny how all this Tory Lane stuff that's going on and Kylie Jenner trying to throw Timothy in everybody's face and knowing that it seems like a PR stunt, a setup, because there's so much and see there's that HBO special that's going on in regards to Megan Stallion Tory Lanez. Haven't had a chance to watch it. I was on vacation, spending time with fam. Then it's just been extremely busy. At some point, I'm sure I'll catch it. But they want you to follow the stories that's in the media. Not only did Kylie go to Beyonce's concert, she wanted to announce her relationship with Timothy that day. You couldn't do it the week before. Kylie's a trip. So is Kim. So is Chloe. So is Chris. How many times did y'all see these girls allegedly send love and support to Cl Courtney? All I heard was Courtney say thanks to the mom. It don't seem like the other sisters were concerned. They were still posting like it was still same old, same old. Interesting. And if famous people don't understand what's going on behind the scenes, what's being said in the media, how they treat each other, Kylie was the one that threw the party. In regards to Tory Lane's Megan Thee Stallion, they were at her house. Let's play this clip. And I keep playing this one. I'm going to play another one so y'all can stay tuned. So Jordan needs to be careful because she may not know. Get into it. Free Tory. Free Tory. These girls ain't loyal. <laughs> These girls ain't loyal. Copyright disclaimer. Shout out to Tory Lane. Shout out to my man, Sun Star. One love. Told you this video. Well, the other thing is, choke no joke. I don't know, like, you know, my truth brings in Kylie Jenner, and, and I don't know if they disclose these things. I don't think they want to because yeah. it's better to say Kelsey was the bitter best friend versus saying Megan was upset that Tori and Kylie, you know, yeah. it's, yeah. it's just more better, right? Okay, well, if I have to be the better, bitter best friend, fine, but there's still no right for all of this to be going on. Um, and then with Megan, it makes sense now because I, she. It'll keep playing. Hold on. So, VA, you telling me Sean Kelly didn't say Kelsey shot the gun first? You telling me Sean Kelly didn't say that Kelsey shot three shots and then he sees the little guy get out behind the drive and go around the car? VA, you tell me Sean Kelly did not say Kelsey shot the gun first? This is what you're telling me, VA? Sean Kelly did not say Kelsey shot the gun first and Tori jumped out and ran around the car and then it was a struggle? He didn't say that. He just said Sean Kelly said the little guy did it. You stick around so you can hear his testimony because that's next. False narrative paying people.
he she uh told you guys that the argument started between me and him if i'm not mistaken and that's false so that I, now i know that i was pushed out because she did not tell the truth initially like i said this is kelsey harris sitting down with whether it's the prosecuting attorney whether it's the attorneys whether it's the police department she's making a statement on what transpired that day mind you kelsey pled the fifth and what did you hear her say her story is tied into kylie she pled the fifth the voice that you hear in regards to the mail is choke no joke i've been utilizing the video i've been giving him credit go subscribe to his channel great channel i didn't know what i was watching i watched that his most recent it was about two three days ago and it, the video was about three four hours maybe two three hours maybe two or three hours i watched it i didn't know that he had all this information and from street tv and they literally went exhibit after exhibit after exhibit that stuff i didn't even know in or know about you know, other channels has the actual transcripts. They've been talking about that. They're, the story in regards to Megan and Kelsey goes deeper than people know. It's just not surface. I don't know who did it. I don't know what, what transpired. That's for the judge and jury to decide. But there's stuff we don't even really know about. Let's continue. Put it on me, which is fine. But I feel like that should have been a mutual you know, a mutual thing, like, Kelsey, I need you to just say this instead of just blaming me. It's, that's not yeah. right. So. I think there's a lot of things that not everyone is privy to. When the trial concludes and when everyone testifies, um, you know, I, there's certainly a lot of things that have been kind of leaked piecemeal out there, mm -hmm. and some things are absolutely not true. Some things that I think still doesn't keep us entering on the whole picture of everything. I would say, just like everyone else, you always want to reserve any conclusions you have about what people are saying. Even Meg, I know it's hard, yeah. but you know, wait till the end of the trial, and then you'll get a sense of where everyone's at. And, you know, this is, yeah, this is the opportunity for everybody. You know, they're going to take an oath to tell the truth, and they're going to give their full. I don't even think they'll tell the truth under oath. <laughs> well, as long as we just, you know, when you're up there, you know. I mean, I'm told I have nothing to hide yeah. or lie about, even if it's. In Did y'all hear her say homegirl is not going to tell the truth under oath? Did y'all hear her say that, Deshaun? Wow. Did y'all hear her just say that, Deshaun? Wow. She's not going to tell the truth under oath. You heard that? The other thing is, I know, I don't know, like, you know, my truth brings in Kylie Jenner, and, and I don't know if they disclose these things. I don't think they want to because yeah. it's better to say Kelsey was the bitter best friend versus saying Megan was upset that Tori and Kylie, you know, yeah. It's, yeah. it's just more better, right? Okay. What? So there's that. <laughs> there's that. So let's listen in to another video in regards to Megan, Kelsey, and Kylie. To women, because Megan is dragging Kylie by her little edges and exposing her for secretly being a Tory apologist and hooking up with him. Kylie is also getting sued and her life is a hot mess. Allegedly. Oh yeah, it looks like there's still some major beef between Kylie Jenner and Meg Thee Stallion because they just threw some major shade at each other on social media. Now Kylie and Megan used to be on great terms, but that kind of died back in 2020 when the whole Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion issue happened. The interesting thing is that Kylie is deeply tied into the Tory Lanez and Meg Thee Stallion story because they were on their way back from a party that Kylie threw. We had to come, um, we had to come kill the street. Okay. Now, now Tory just popped up behind them. I just don't like the music that's playing. So I'm going to try and fast forward through that. But yeah, Kylie's a trip. Them Kardashians a trip. And people still associate. So if people aren't worried about, why should we? But I just keep telling y'all. Yes, this is Tori shot me. You shot me. 
So Kylie has been tied to this drama right from the very start. And at first, we didn't know exactly how deeply she was involved in the whole drama until the trial started last year. Because listen, it brought so much things to light during the trial. And we realized just how crazy celeb lifestyles really are. At the beginning of the trial, Kylie and her mom's boyfriend, Corey Gamble, were named as possible witnesses. According to the court reporter, Nancy Dillion, Tori's lawyer told the judge that Kylie Kylie Jenner and Corey Gamble are on his list of possible defense witnesses because they she knew her. So possible defense witnesses. But did we hear much about Kylie or Corey? Let's continue. I want to show the picture. It's being said that 